If you're looking for ultimate team coins under £2 per 100k, then go check out gofifacoins.com and use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, Gunnist here bringing you another international Man of the Match upgrade card review and today it is the turn of a man labelled as Captain America in this World Cup and of course that is Clint Dempsey. So there's a squad I've played him in, I've got him as a centre forward in the false nine formation as well. I thought that would get the best out of him. So let's take a close look at him, you know, 6 foot 1, medium medium work rates, right footed, 4 star weak foot, yes, 4 star skill moves on this mode. 7 games, 9 goals and 2 assists. And guys, if this video can get 150 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. And also make sure you follow me on Twitter. There is a giveaway on there, so go follow. So, has he changed from his card, his international man of the match? And the answer is yes. He is a cam instead and also 4 star skills is the biggest change on there. So let's have a look at his upgrades from his original World Cup card. Well, his pace, defending and heading have all gone up by 2. His dribbling has gone up by 4. His passing by 5. And his shooting has seen the biggest increase going up by 7. And that's where it really stands out here because his finishing is at 94, heading 91, long shots 92. You know, all the dark greens like shot power 96. And then he's got short passing at 86 as well. You know, there's lots of things in the high 80s. He weighs 185 pounds. He can play as a cam striker or as a left mid. And again, you can see the four star skills. That is the biggest thing that we must know when we're looking at him. 77 strength is pretty much a standout. Acceleration and sprint speed 76 and 77 respectively though. Jumping at 91 which is great for his aerial ability. However you know that pace is going to be lacking and 83 attacking position and 80 vision. So what are my expectations of this card? Well seeing him you know play for the US he's an awesome player you know he turns up. I've even seen him like do a little bit of a five star skills in a training match or in a warm up game. You know what he really turns up when he plays for his country so what are you going to get from this card well for a start and the thing i must stress is that on regular fut and his international man of the match card the green one that i showed you earlier he only has three star skills however on this game mode he has four star so if you want to try out a four star skill version of clint dempsey this is the only place you can try it because it's not going to happen anywhere else so guys you know that's what you want to be doing and that just improves him makes him a better striker makes him a better player to use you know, I thought he was best suited either as a camera or a centre forward, but he can play a striker, but he lacks that pace. That is the one thing about him, you know, he lacks pace. And if you like your pacey strikers, then he's not going to be the guy for you. However, if you want a solid all-round striker that can do everything else apart from sprint in behind, then this is going to be a guy. This guy's got technique, fantastic finishing stats. He's got fantastic range of passing as well. Four-star weak foot as well. He's great in the air. Fantastic jumping ability as well. He's going to win you headers. He can hold the ball up. He can bring others into play. You know, he's just an all-round fantastic player and EA have really done it well and I think they've really recreated a card relevant to what he's like in real life. And he's definitely a pleasure to use and if you want to build a CONCACAF side, then definitely go ahead and pick him up or open packs to get him on this World Cup mode. So, the biggest thing I must stress is the 4-star skill upgrade. Yes, he is different from his regular card in FUT. His finishing is absolutely deadly and clinical as well. He's got fantastic range of pass and brings others into play well, especially when I use him in the false 9 formation. He's got great dribbling and movement as well. It's fantastic in the air and he also has a four star weak foot. He does lack pace and you've got to be aware of that, but you would know that anyway looking at the card face stats. But that's the only thing that I can knock him down on. And I give him a nine out of 10 guys. He's a fantastic player to use. Definitely worth the upgrade. It makes a big difference as well. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.